All right, so, th so this question is a bit of a beast. I suspect this is going to end up being quite a long video, but let's give it a read through and see what we need to do for this question. Here is some information about the number of films 50 people watched last year. And then we have this table, which means that there were six people who watched between 1 and 15 films. There were 15 people who watched between 16 and 30 films, etc. Work out an estimate for the mean number of films watched. Write your answer in the box below. Now it's only three marks, but this is, I suppose the maths we have to do isn't complicated, but the reason why we do it is complicated. Now generally, for the mean, we would like to find the total uh, and then divide it by how many. Sometimes you think of it as adding up and dividing, like you add them up, divide by how many, but so I, want to I want to express it instead as uh, the total, which for us means the total number of films, divided by how many. But it's tricky, how do we find the total number of films that these people watched? Well, to do that, we are going to fill in uh, some of this table that is deliberately left for us to remind us what we need to do. Um, these, these six people that are in the first row, right? These six people, um, we need to find a number. We're going to estimate how many films those people watched. Um, and then if six people watched, let's say, 10 films, then that means altogether they watched 60. And that's going to help us find the total. Um, I think more of that will become clear as we do this question. But this second column, uh, sorry, this, this third column that we've got, is specifically for finding the midpoint of the number of films column. Um, I'll explain why in a moment. Oh, it's not going to let me type. Okay, maybe because this is a test player, it's not working quite right, but it doesn't let me type anything in that heading box. So I'm just going to write it in, just for the sake of anyone watching. This is our midpoint. Okay, and the reason why, um, what, what is the midpoint between 1 and 15? Now, you might be good at just spotting that or counting it out on your fingers or whatever, but there is a mathematical way of finding the midpoint. You can add these two numbers together and then half your answer. So if I do 16 divided by 2, I get 8, which is the midpoint between 1 and 15. So the midpoint is going to be 8 for this category. Uh, for the next category, we've got 16 to 30. And again, if I do that, that little trick for finding the middle point, the middle number that's halfway between them, uh, 16 plus 30 is 46, and then if I divide that by 2, I get 23. And actually, sorry, this is a calculator paper, so perhaps I should be doing these on the calculator and copying them into the working box. So actually, for the next few numbers, I am going to do that. Um, so on the calculator, uh, my next midpoint is halfway between 31 and 45. So 31 plus 45 gives me this number, which I then divide by 2 to get the midpoint, which is 38. That's my next one. A couple more to go. I'm going to do 46, add 60, and then half that. Oops, oh yeah, and then half that to get the midpoint. So my next midpoint is 53. And finally, halfway between 61 and 75, I add them together, divided by 2, uh, it's 68. Okay, so those are all my midpoints. Now, again, the reason why I'm doing this is because to find the mean, I'm going to need to know the total number of films that all these people watched so I can divide by how many people there were. And to get there, I'm going to find some like mini totals. So like I said at the beginning, if we've got six people here who watched, we're gonna call it eight films, then altogether those six people watched six lots of eight films, so they watched 48 films together. All right, and this is like a mini total that's gonna help us because this is the total number of films that these six people watched. If each of them watched between 1 and 15, and we're going to call it 8, that's the point in this column, we're going to say those six people watched 8 films, that's 48 films altogether. You then have these 15 people who watched between 16 and 30, we're going to say they watched 23, because that's the midpoint, the halfway point. So we're going to say these 15 people watched 23 films, which means altogether those 15 people watched 345 films. Next we've got 14 people who watched, we're going to say, 38 films which means they watched 532 films altogether. You've got 11 people who watched 53 films, which is 583. And finally, you've got four people who watched between 61 and 75. We're going to call it 68. They watched 68 films, which is 272. Now, the point of doing this is because we're trying to find the mean and we need the total number of films that all these people watched together to work out the mean. And now I've got all these mini totals. If I add these together, this would be the total number of films for everybody. So the next thing I'm going to do... Oh, sorry, just a quick note. I've just noticed I didn't copy most of that to the working box because I was too busy talking and thinking about it. 
when you do this question, copy everything you do to the working out box. It's really important to show every step of your working. So we need the total. We're going to add up all these mini totals that we found. We did 48. Then the next category was 345. And the next one, 532, 583, and 272. So in total, all of these people watched 1,780 films altogether, which means I have the total number of films watched by everyone. So now I need to divide by how many, but how many is really vague, like how many what? How many films? How many categories? It's, if it should be by dividing by how many people were asked. Now, if I didn't have that information, I could add up all of these, because this is the number of people that were asked. But often, like in this question, it does tell you how many people are in this survey um, altogether. There were 50 people. So if a total of 1,780 films were watched by 50 people, then the mean number of films is the total number of films divided by how many people. So it's 35.6 films. That is the mean. So beast of a question. Only worth three marks, which is quite harsh for all that work we had to do. Um, but one more quick thing to say, which is that the reason why it says here, work out an estimate for the mean, isn't because you're expected to round anything. So I didn't round this number to 600 or this number to 300. Um, it's called an estimate because we don't actually know how many films these six people watched. It's an estimate because we just said, oh, well, let's just say they watched eight films each because that's halfway between one and 15 and they all watched between one and 15. So it's only called an estimate because we don't actually know how many films they watched. We had to make a guess, and for each category, our guess for how many films they watched was the halfway point in each category. Uh, good, okay, so that's uh, the mean. If, if you want to like look this up or anything to do some revision, this is called the mean from a grouped frequency table. Um, it's tricky to look up, especially for functional skills, because if you look up mean from a group frequency table, you get lots of GCSE questions, which can look similar, but they'll be phrased a bit differently and the table might look a bit different, but the method will be the same. So if you want to look it up, that's what you should search for. Um, okay, quite complicated that one. Again, my advice, copy everything to your working out box. I know I missed a few steps, um, but that's the method. Hope that helps. On to the next question.